Griffin. Um, thanks um, very much. And uh, I was in the chamber at Ascon Carla, but uh, for whatever reason, your information hadn't been updated. Um, could I uh, just say to the Minister, uh, first have, and foremost... I, sorry, I didn't have your name on any list, but I'm take, I'm, that's fine. I'm letting you in now. That's no problem. I'm, I'm sure you didn't have the name, but the, the name had been given in by the Whip's office. Uh, can I say to uh, the Minister, um, I'll try to get the questions and answers here during the three minutes that I have. Um, first and foremost, Minister, what measures are in place to ensure that what happened at the Beacon Hospital doesn't happen again? And can you give assurances that uh, there would be protocols in place to ensure that anybody who is contacted at short notice is assured that everything is kosher? Because I am very concerned as a result of what happened at the Beacon that we could have situations that where people are actually afraid to take up offers uh, because they're afraid that everything isn't legitimate. Thank you. Last Ken Corlick, can I just ask, is the time for the, for the deputy who's just spoken or for, for no, all? No, no, the, the time is what's on the clock and that concludes the session, 1.50. One I have two further questions, Minister, so if we could just try no, to... No problem at all. Uh, deputy, can I, can I say that what happened at the Beacon Hospital uh, was completely unacceptable? These vaccines do not belong to the Beacon Hospital or indeed to any hospital. They belong to the Irish people. Very clear guidelines, very clear protocols were in place, are in place, had been communicated and they were understood. I've written to the Beacon Hospital on the issue and, uh, and have asked for a full review, including any uh, responses from the board. I've appointed a senior official from the HSE to go in immediately uh, and assess the situation. And as you'll be aware, uh, I've suspended vaccine operations at the Beacon. And I would just share with you the fact, uh, the, the, the sentiment that what happened was completely unacceptable and should Minister. not be happening anywhere. Thank you. Minister, could I ask, in relation to home vaccinations for people who are housebound, uh, I'm finding it extremely difficult to get information in relation to the rollout of home vaccinations for people with serious medical conditions. Could you update us on that situation and could you provide information uh, to us, perhaps even privately, in relation to that? There's a lot of concern out there about that. Uh, thank you, Deputy. Yeah, I'm more than happy to talk to you privately about it as well. The National Ambulance Service has uh, started. They are moving uh, through regionally through the country. Uh, the GPs have identified it in many, in many cases. There are patients who can't make it into the GP clinics and the National Ambulance Service are moving uh, as quickly as is possible to get to the home, support the people, give them the vaccinations. Sir, and finally, just in relation to the uh, change that was announced this week in relation to the rollout, I also have been contacted uh, by huge numbers of people, particularly teachers and Gardaí, uh, with serious concerns about this. Rather than going the full hog and moving to the system that is now proposed, would it not be more advisable to look at those high-risk categories and to look at the older cohorts of individuals within those categories first? If you can't do all of them now, would you not look at the older and more vulnerable um, members of those of Lungarda Sheikhan, the teachers, etc.? Unfortunately, we're going to have to move on. The time is up.